The Philokalia ancient Greek, philokai, love of the beautiful, the good, from philia philia, love, and kalos kalos, beauty, is a collection of texts written between the 4th and 15th centuries by spiritual masters of the Eastern Orthodox Church mystical hesychast tradition. They were originally written for the guidance and instruction of monks in the practice of the contemplative life. The collection was compiled in the 18th century by Nicodemus the Hagiorite and Macarius of Corinth. Although these works were individually known in the monastic culture of Greek Orthodox Christianity before their inclusion in the Philokalia, their presence in this collection resulted in a much wider readership due to its translation into several languages. The earliest translations included a Church Slavonic language translation of selected texts by Pisius Velikovsky in 1793, a Russian translation by Ignatius Bryan Chaninov in 1857, and a five-volume translation into Russian by Theophan the Recluse in 1877. There were subsequent Romanian, Italian, French, German, Spanish, Finnish, and Arabic translations. The book is a principal spiritual text. For all the Eastern Orthodox churches. The publishers of the current English translation state that, The Philokalia has exercised an influence far greater than that of any book other than the Bible in the recent history of the Orthodox Church. Philokalia, sometimes Philokalia is also the name given to an anthology of the writings of Origen compiled by Basil of Caesarea and Gregory of Nazianus. Other works on monastic spirituality have also used the same title over the years. History Nicodemos and Makarios were monks at Mount Athos, a mountainous peninsula in northern Greece, historically considered the geographical center of Orthodox spirituality and home to twenty monasteries. The first edition, in Greek, was published in Venice in 1782, with a second Greek edition published in Athens in 1893. All the original texts were in Greek. Two of them were first written in Latin and translated into Greek in the Byzantine era, Pisius Velikovsky's translation into Church Slavonic, Dobrotolubli published in Moscow in 1793, included selected portions of the Philokalia, and was the version that the pilgrim in the way of a pilgrim carried on his journey. That book about a Russian pilgrim who is seeking advice on interior prayer helped popularize the Philokalia and its teachings in Russia. Velikovsky's translation was the first to become widely read by the public, away from the monasteries helped by the popularity of the Way of a Pilgrim, and the public influence of the Startsi at Optina Monastery known as the Optina Elders. Two Russian language translations appeared in the 19th century, one by Ignatius Bryan (1857) and Theophan the Recluse's (1877). The latter was published in five volumes, and included texts that were not in the original Greek edition. Velikovsky was initially hesitant to share his translation outside of the Optina monastery walls. He was concerned that people living in the world would not have the adequate supervision and guidance of the Startsi in the monastery, nor would they have the support of the liturgical life of the monks. He was finally persuaded by the Metropolitan of St. Petersburg to publish the book in 1793. Brian Chanovoff expressed the same concerns in his work, warning his readers that regular practice of the Jesus prayer, without adequate guidance, could potentially cause spiritual delusion and pride, even among monks. Their concerns were contrary to the original compiler of the Philokalia, Nicodemos, who wrote that the Jesus prayer could be used to good effect by anyone, whether monastic or layperson. All agreed that the teachings on constant inner prayer should be practiced under the guidance of a spiritual teacher, or starets. The first partial English and French translations in the 1950s were an indirect result of the Bolshevik Revolution, which brought many Russian intellectuals into Western Europe. T.S. Eliot persuaded his fellow directors of the publishing house Faber and Faber to publish a partial translation into English from the Theophan Russian version, which met with surprising success in 1951. A more complete English translation, from the original Greek, began in 1979 with a collaboration between G. E. H. Palmer, Callistos Ware, and Philip Sherard. They released four of the five volumes of the Philokalia between 1979 and 1995. In 1946, the first installment of a ten-volume Romanian translation by Father Dimitru Staniloi appeared. In addition to the original Greek text, Staniloi added 
lengthy original footnotes of his own as well as substantially expanding the coverage of texts by Maximus the Confessor, Simeon the New Theologian, and Gregory Palamas. This work is 4,650 pages in length. Writings by the Trappist monk Thomas Merton on hesychasm also helped spread the popularity of the Philokalia, along with the indirect influence of J. D. Salinger's Franny and Zoe, which featured the way of a pilgrim as a main plot element. Topic. Teachings. Topic. The collection's title is The Philokalia of the Niptic Fathers, or more fully The Philokalia of the Neptic Saints Gathered from Our Holy Theophoric Father, through which, by means of the philosophy of ascetic practice and contemplation, the intellect is purified, illumined, and made perfect. Niptic is an adjective derived from the Greek nipsis or nepsis referring to contemplative prayer and meaning watchfulness. Watchfulness in this context includes close attention to one's thoughts, intentions, and emotions, with the aim of resisting temptations and vain and egoistic thoughts, and trying to maintain a constant state of remembrance of God. There are similarities between this ancient practice and the concept of mindfulness as practiced in Buddhism and other spiritual traditions. The Philokalia teachings have also influenced the revival of interior prayer in modern times through the centering prayer practices taught by Thomas Keating and Thomas Merton. Philokalia is defined as the love of the beautiful, the exalted, the excellent, understood as the transcendent source of life and the revelation of truth. In contemplative prayer, the mind becomes absorbed in the awareness of God as a living presence as the source of being of all creatures and sensible forms. According to the authors of the English translation, Callistos Ware, G. E. H. Palmer, and Philip Sherrard, the writings of the Philokalia have been chosen above others because they less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 show the way to awaken and develop attention and consciousness, to attain that state of watchfulness which is the hallmark of sanctity. They describe the conditions most effective for learning what their authors call the art of arts and the science of sciences, a learning which is not a matter of information or agility of mind but of a radical change of will and heart leading man towards the highest possibilities open to him, shaping and nourishing the unseen part of his being, and helping him to spiritual fulfillment and union with God. The Philokalia is the foundational text on hesychasm, quietness, an inner spiritual tradition with a long history dating back to the Desert Fathers. The practices include contemplative prayer, quiet sitting, and recitation of the Jesus prayer. While traditionally taught and practiced in monasteries, hesychasm teachings have spread over the years to include laymen. Nicodemos, in his introduction, described the collected texts as a mystical school of inward prayer, which could be used to cultivate the inner life and to attain the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. While the monastic life makes this easier, Nicodemus himself stressed that unceasing prayer should be practiced by all. The hesychasm teachings in the Philokalia are viewed by Orthodox Christians as inseparable from the sacraments and liturgy of the Orthodox Church, and are given by and for those who are already living within the framework of the Church. A common theme is the need for a spiritual father or guide. Topic: <laughs> Timeline of editions and translations. Topic. Fourth 15th centuries The original texts are written by various spiritual masters. Most are written in Greek, two are written in Latin and translated into Greek during Byzantine times. 1782 First edition, Greek, published in Venice, compiled by Nicodemos and Makarios. 1793 Church Slavonic translation of selected texts, Dobrotolubli, by Pisius Velikovsky, published in Moscow. This translation was carried by the pilgrim in the way of a pilgrim. First to be read outside of monasteries, with a strong influence on the two following Russian translations. 1857 Russian language translation, by Ignatius Bryanchaninov. 1877 Russian language translation, by Theophan the Recluse, included several texts not in the Greek original, and omitted or paraphrased some passages. 1893 Second Greek edition, published in Athens, included additional texts by Patriarch Callistos. 1946 1976 In 1946, the first installment of a ten volume Romanian translation by Father Dimitru Staniloi appeared. 
1951, 1954 First partial English translations by E. Kadlobowski and G. E. H. Palmer in two volumes, Writings from the Philokalia on Prayer of the Heart and Early Fathers from the Philokalia. These were translated from Theophane's Russian version, and published by Faber and Faber. 1957–1963 Third Greek edition, published in Athens by Astur Publishing Company in five volumes. Modern English translation based on this edition. 1965 First translation of selected texts from Philokalia is published in Finnish by name Sisainen Kaunius Inner Beauty from German translation Kleine Philokali. The translation was made by Irenia Nikonen and it was published by Pyhane Sargent Ja Hermannen Velgeskunta Brotherhood of STS. Sergius and Hermann 1979–1995 English translation by Callistos Ware, G. E. H. Palmer, and Philip Sherard, of the first four of the five Greek volumes, from the third Greek edition. This was published by Faber and Faber. 1981–1993 A Finnish translation was made from the original Byzantine Greek text by Valaman Eastavat Rai Friends of Valamo Monastery Registered Association in four volumes. Translation was made by Nun Christodouli, Irenia Nikonen and Madi Jeskinen. An appendix fifth volume was published at 1998. <laughs> Contents This listing of texts is based on the English translation of four volumes by Bishop Callistos Ware, G. E. H. Palmer, and Philip Sherard. The fifth volume has yet to be published in English. Some works in the Philokalia are also found in the Petrologia Grisi and Petrologia Latina of J. P. Migni. Topic. Volume 1 Topic. Saint Isaiah the Solitarian Guarding the Intellect, 27 Texts of Agrius the Solitary Outline Teaching on Asceticism and Stillness in the Solitary Texts on Discrimination in Respect of Passions and Thoughts Extracts from the texts on watchfulness On prayer, 153 text. John Cassian and the Eight Vices On the Holy Fathers of Scetus and on Discriminations. Mark the Asceticon the Spiritual Law, 200 texts On those who think that they are made righteous by works, 226 texts Letter to Nicholas the Solitarist. Hesychios the Priest and Watchfulness and Holiness. Nilos the Ascetic Ascetic Discoursist. Diodicos of Photikion Spiritual Knowledge and Discrimination, 100 text. John of Carpathos for the encouragement of the monks in India who had written to him, 100 texts. Ascetic discourse sent at the request of the same monks in Indiast. Antony the Great and the Character of Men and on the Virtuous Life, 170 texts. This piece by Anthony was changed to an appendix in the English translation by Palmer, Sherard, and Ware, 1979, p. 327, because of their view that the language and the general idea is not explicitly Christian and may not have been written by Antony. Topic, Volume Two. Topic. Saint Theodorus the Great Ascetic, Theodore of Edessa, a century of spiritual texts. Theoreticonst. Maximos the Confessor, 400 texts on love, with a foreword to Elpidios the Presbyter. 200 texts on theology and the incarnate dispensation of the Son of God, written for Thalassios. Various texts on theology, the divine economy, and virtue and vice. On the Lord's Prayer Thalassios the Libyan and Love, Self-Control, and Life in Accordance with the Intellect written for Paul the Presbyter Street. John of Damascus and the Virtues and the Vicesa Discourse on Abba Philemon Saint Theognostus and the Practice of the Virtues, Contemplation and the Priesthood Topic. Volume 3 Topic. Saint Philotheos of Sinai 40 texts on watchfulness Elias the Presbyter Anomic Anthology, Part 1 Anomic Anthology, Part 2 Anomic Anthology, Part 3 Anomic Anthology, Part I Theophanes the Monk the Ladder of Divine Grisest. Peter of Damascus Book I, A Treasury of Divine Knowledge Book 2, 24 Discourses. Simeon the Metaphrast, Paraphrases of the Homilies of Saint Macarius of Egypt Spiritual Perfection Prayer Patient Endurance and Discrimination 
the raising of the intellect love the freedom of the intellect topic volume 4 topic saint simeon the new theologian and faith 153 practical and theological texts the three methods of prayer attributed to him Nikita's Stithatis and the practice of the virtues 100 texts on the inner nature of things and on the purification of the intellect 100 texts on spiritual knowledge love and the perfection of living 100 texts theoleptos metropolitan of philadelphia on inner work in christ and the monastic profession Texts Nikiforos the monk and watchfulness and the guarding of the hearts. Gregory of Sinai and commandments and doctrines, warnings and promises, on thoughts, passions and virtues, and also on stillness and prayer, 137 texts. Further texts On the signs of grace and delusion, written for the confessor Longinos, 10 texts. On stillness, 15 texts. On prayer, 7 texts. Gregory Palamasto the most reverend nun Xenia, a New Testament Decalogue In defense of those who devoutly practice a life of stillness Three texts on prayer and purity of heart Topics of natural and theological science and on the moral and ascetic life, 150 texts The Declaration of the Holy Mountain in defense of those who devoutly practice a life of stillness Topic. Volume 5 Topic. This volume has not yet been published in English translation. These are the contents of the modern Greek translation. Callistos and Ignatios The Xanthopolises Method and Precise Canon for Those Who Choose the Hesychastic and Monastic Life, 100 Chapters Callistos Angelicaudus Kephalia Chapters, 81 Chapters Callistos Tilicaudus Presumed the same as Callistos Angelicaudus On Hesychastic Practice Callistos Catafigoti Presumed the same as Callistos Angelicaudus On Union with God, and Life of Theoria Saint Simeon Archbishop of Thessaloniki Chapters on the Sacred and Deifying Prayer Saint Mark the Gentilion The Words That Are contained in the sacred prayer anonymous interpretation of Kyrie eleison Lord have mercy Saint Simeon the new theologian discourse on faith and teaching for those who say that it is not possible for those who find themselves in the worries of the world to reach the perfection of the virtues and narration that is beneficial at the beginning on the three ways of prayers Gregory of Sinai excerpts from the life of Saint Maximos Capsocolivus all Christians must pray uninterruptedly indices topic translations topic Palmer GEH Ware Callistos Sherard Philip 1979 The Philokalia the complete text volume 1 London Faber and Faber ISBN 0 to 571111377x Palmer GEH Ware Callistos Sherard Philip 1982 the Philokalia, The Complete Text. Volume 2. London, Faber & Faber. ISBN 0-571-15466-2. Palmer, G. E. H., Ware, Callistos, Sherard, Philip The Philokalia, The Complete Text. Volume 3. Faber & Faber. ISBN 0-571-17525-2. Palmer, G. E. H., Ware, Callistos, Sherard, Philip. 1999. The Philokalia, The Complete Text. Volume 4. Faber and Faber. ISBN 0 571 19382 X. Kavarnos, Constantine. 2007. The Philokalia, Love of the Beautiful. Institute for Byzantine and Modern Greek Studies. ISBN 1 884729 79 7. Kavarnos, Constantine. 2009. The Philokalia, a second volume of Selected Readings. Selected Readings from the Philokalia, Volume 2. Institute for Byzantine and Modern Greek Studies. ISBN 1 884729 91 6. Palmer, G. E. H., Ware, Callistos. The Philokalia, Complete Text. Retrieved 9 June 2014. Topic see also topic Hesychasm Jesus Prayer Pustinia Hermit Pisius Velikovsky Nepsis topic Notes topic topic Further reading topic Pascalis M. Kitromolides, Philokalia's First Journey, in Item, an Orthodox Commonwealth, Symbolic Legacies and Cultural Encounters in Southeastern Europe Aldershot, 2007, Variorum Collected Studies Series, CS 891 
External links Topic. Quotes from the Philokalia at Orthodox Church Quotes The Philokalia digitized PDF.